so today's video which I would really like to talk about is hair product does cost really matter and that's in regards to shampoo conditioner styling products what have you the whole range does cost really matter now we all know that you only have to literally venture to the supermarket or those high street stores or even department stores what have you the product range aisles for hair is incredible you can literally spend from as small as 50 pence all the way up to 20 30 40 pounds and plus the thing is what got me thinking recently actually is when very often on YouTube or online I will have looked through it for, through reviews for different products which I've tried it might well be a hairspray might be a gel um, sort of any any styling product or even a shampoo or a hair growth treatment as you'll know from my channel I'm very into different hair products and I enjoy trying them out and reviewing them um, not sponsored by any of them at all not represented by any of them at all just because of personal opinion that's something i really like to do i've had amazing comments and i've really enjoyed answering a lot of questions from people especially in regards to my favorite product which i always seem to come back to is by l'oreal professional and that's the cerioxyl range and that's for hair thinning natural hair thinning. they also do a range for processed hair and for colored hair and for men and women a fantastic product but let's get down to cost so for example what really does annoy me and actually i find, find it quite sad that some people when they actually um choose a product can kind of almost be a little bit belittling when i've come across online a, a couple of times with a review of a product and people are kind of shamed for using products which are of the cheaper range for example if you are just paying for a pound and less for just a simple bottle of shampoo very often of course everybody has different hair concerns whether it be thin hair maybe it be fine thinning, thick, greasy, problematic scalp, thick hair, coarse hair. So of course whatever we choose we have to cater for ourselves, and only we know as individuals what's good for us. Now that could be a cheaper product or however you may have to pay a little bit more. The thing which I find is really really sad when people just generalize things and that of course this is not just products this happens so much in life in general that people will just label something straight off that for example if they haven't met that person they will treat that person, be quick to make an assumption, and whatever that person does or says, they're labelled as, may it be rude, arrogant, what have you. And that's really sad, and I have actually learnt that through working in retail banking. Um, it's pretty awful. People, because of my hearing problems, would judge me all the time, um, and I've had some pretty horrific things said to me. Um, so when I had a look at this online about and for example it was um it was a and i'm going to go through the product ranges in a moment um which i've had a look at or which i've tried um and it was a it was a product which i will cover in a second that that don't bother it was something along the lines of don't bother with that it's it's rubbish or it doesn't do anything for your scalp at all or it's full of nasty products i think that's absolutely rubbish number one why is it being sold if it's if it's if it's no good at all and number two why is it damn difficult to get hold of because people buy it um, and of course why should people feel made to feel bad and rotten if they can only afford a certain product or they can only afford a certain price range very often I think to myself for goodness sake some of us don't actually have the money to buy expensive products all the time some of us have to live by a budget and of course if you can only afford a certain product at a certain price range then fantastic you still will look good you still will be able to style your hair in the same way okay Sometimes in cheaper products you may find that there's a few more things added to it which in the end could affect your scalp but only you will know that. Some people for example from a cheap shampoo product or a cheap styling product or a cheap hairspray for example or a cheap hair wax will know it might well be fantastic for them and of course for cost it might well be fantastic for them. Another person may come along and use it, it may give them an irritated scalp, it may give them problems with their skin, they may not even find that the styling quality is very good at all. But don't forget this can also happen with a higher rated product as well. If you are paying excess of 20, 30, maybe even 40 pounds for a styling product, one person may think that that's absolutely fantastic, another person might think that that's absolutely money wasted, and they get better use and they get better style from a much cheaper range. Now this has actually happened to me before, a product range which of course is very cost effective and on our high street here in the UK is the VO5 range. Now there's a lot of things online about the shampoo and the conditioner from the VO5 range which you don't necessarily see so much now. But there's some quite mediocre reviews, but however, from growing up and staying at my grandmother's house all the time it was a product which she would always stand by and she never believed in changing products. And for her she thought it was absolutely amazing, for me I really really like the product. And it's like their styling products, their waxes, clays and putties. 
I've read reviews online that people have shamed these and they think that they're absolutely awful. But however, for me, I find that they're really, really good. They're really effective. They're really cost effective. And I love how they style my hair and what they offer to me in terms of quality when styling my hair. And then you get these same people which are reviewing products which are much, much more expensive. And I've tried them and actually I don't go a lot on them. In fact, I find that they're a little bit cakey and they make my hair quite greasy um, and nothing along the product line which I actually really enjoy using. But of course, as you'll know from my channel, I review a whole host of different products. Um, and of course, this is just something which has been playing my mind a little bit recently from looking at some reviews online. And people are very quick to sort of shame people if they're using cheaper products and literally pushing a product aside just because it is a, of a certain price range. But for example, some of the products which are cheaper have just as good products in them as the more expensive brands. Sometimes it is just a name which you're paying for. It's just a brand which you're paying for or who endorses that product. It might well be a celebrity. It might well be a certain company behind that. Of course, more expensive products can be lovely and they can be a luxurious finish and they can offer you so much more properties, especially in terms of hair growth. But of course, we all live by our means and it really does depend on how much of a disposable income you have, which by the way means, um, I don't, that's me sort of finance hat on there. I apologise for using that term. That's like after all your bills and all your necessities paid, that's the money you're left with afterwards. And then what you have to spend. Some months people might not even want to spend stupid amounts on hair products. Like me, for example, I really enjoy that. So I spend quite a lot on different hair products all the time. But I use it and it's something which I'm fully aware of. And I really, really like that. But I have come across cheaper products which have been absolutely fantastic. And I've really, really enjoyed using them. Let's just run through some, for example. So just my sort of range of products in my family home. A lot of these are mine. A lot of these stay in our family bathroom. But of course, sometimes for cost. So for example, top of the price range for me. This is the Molten Brown and this is an absolute lovely product. This is the thickening shampoo with ginger extract. So this is a new one which I've actually recently been gifted because it is of a much more premium range and it is quite expensive. So it's 18 pounds, but however, I have paid a lot more for this product range. So for 18 pounds for this product, that's a really good buy for me. Um, and it's a really lovely product. The properties, it speaks for itself and it's a really, really lovely product to use. Some people might not be able to afford that. I wouldn't certainly be able to afford to use that all of the time, especially if you're washing your hair like me, for example, morning and night to remove hair product. Coming down from that a little bit, or actually equally on par, I should say, rather, sorry, is the Philip Kingsley bodybuilding. Um, absolutely, anybody who knows the Philip Kingsley range, Philip Kingsley was an absolute hero in the hair care and still is, and will always leave a legacy in the hair care range. This, you can pay a varying amount from. I've paid for this product anywhere between 15, maybe 20, maybe even 25 pounds for this product. So you could say even more. In terms of in terms of the respected brand, you would probably even say on par to Molten Brown, or even probably equal or even a little bit more. Um, but do you know this product offers so many properties? Fantastic. Somebody else might not like it at all. The same as the Molten Brown range. I love them both. They're really, really great for my hair. Somebody else might come along and think that actually of a cheaper product might well be better for them. For example, the VO5 Revive Me Daily, a cheaper product. This years ago used to be a little bit more expensive when my nan used to always use the VO5 range. And I refer back to that because I stayed with my nan a lot when I was younger. And it's all what she would use. And I remember going, um, going around uh, staying at my nan's and there would be nothing but product use for shampoos and conditioners, just VO5 and styling products and hairsprays and things, just one brand. Um, it seemed to be a little bit more expensive then, but recently it's quite difficult to find and it's cheaper. But over the more expensive brands, somebody might not like them. Somebody might like the cheaper product range. And just telling you straight off the back of here, you wouldn't think a cheaper product would offer five vital oils, argan, jojoba, apricot, avocado, grapeseed oil, all those properties in that shampoo there. So it's finding the balance what is best for you and not listening to sometimes reviews online which are shamming cheaper products because believe you me, very often I've tried a more expensive shampoo and I've not liked it and it's left my scalp feeling tight, agitated. I've gone back to a cheaper product and it's been amazing. Of course, there are some cheaper products which you can use and they really don't agree with you and you can tell they're full of all nasty products. Um, but that is just something you've got to learn from. Sometimes they are better. Sometimes it can just be a mistake buying them. Let's move on. So for example, we've covered the more expensive ones, come down a little bit, a more of a sort of specialized product to men. This one here, now this is a really lovely product and we're gonna be doing a review on this shortly. But this is by the Mr. Jamie Stevens, which I believe is a uh, professional, uh, I've got it on the back here actually. Um, Okay, so created by multi-award winning hairdre men's hairdresser, Jamie Stevens. And this is a thickening system and it's an anti-hair loss shampoo. 
this one is really a really lovely product but I won't give anything away we will do that in the review pretty shortly coming up but this product range you could pay I believe 10 15 pounds for this one so coming down a little bit more from the Philip Kingsley and the Molten Brown but still a very nice product of course we wouldn't always be able to afford to spend that on hair products but of course the quality is behind that somebody else might not like it and then of course revert back to the cheaper product range what I would then say for example is sometimes in terms of the ingredients so a higher more expensive product might well be just because it's got a much more higher quality perhaps essential oil in that shampoo perhaps a natural um, derived product might well be in there as well which could boost the shampoo or the conditioner or the styling product to be more expensive but of course that doesn't take anything away from the cheaper product ranges as well which we very often see um, but sadly people do look down on them but they are just as good and just as worthy to be on that shelf of brilliant hair care products moving on so for example coming down a little bit again you may then use which is an absolute very renowned product which is the Alpazin range so the Alpazin hybrid this one you can buy for around about six pounds fifty and I have paid up to around about eight pounds for it a fantastic quality product and of course offers you that caffeine for your hair follicles prevention is always better than cure if you think that your hair might be thinning or you'll notice some change in your hair Alpazin is always a great product to run to and use see how you go everybody is different it might not work for you somebody might absolutely hate it somebody might love it I actually love the hybrid one which is the sensitive one so I always keep that in our family bathroom and if you have a bit of a problem scalp or you're a bit out of balance a bit sensitive a bit sort of itchy or you're noticing a few more hairs in the sink when you're washing your hair or in the shower it's a great product because then after a little while you will see the difference I do I can't promise that for everybody but it's certainly worth a try what I'm trying to get out here is different shampoos and different products different treatments different styling products have different costs now I've only just grabbed a few shampoos here as you can probably be amazed I do have a lot but I haven't touched on styling products it's just to cover the cost and this is just recently because what got me thinking of being people doing reviews which is fantastic but really shamming um, shaming even um, cheaper brands so that's what we're just running through so come down a little bit more we take nothing away from our product being cheap it's fantastic if you can save money it's also better if this product works out and is an amazing product as well and is up there with higher product ranges too of course people might change in view but of course the dove men's care so this is a large bottle so it's 400 ml it offers thickening with caffeine and calcium who would have thought calcium would have helped thicken and make your hair more fuller it's a really lovely product you can buy this one for only around about three pounds so why would anybody take that away because of course it's not the same for everybody very often you come across online oh it's an awful product we're not talking about these by the way I'm not mentioning any other products which people have reviewed and they said they're awful but very often you will say that a certain product or a certain even a, a cream or, or a styling product or a hairspray is absolutely awful why would you say that because that's personal opinion I know I give personal opinions on my products but I try to keep very very neutral and that it might be different for everybody so that's what really really annoys me because you're taking away from a product which which might actually be really really lovely or really really great for a different hairstyle for example let's take that into account if you've got long medium short hair a shampoo or a styling product might well be different for all of those hair types you might find them amazing for short awful for long it's worth thinking about so let's keep going with what we're doing here so now we're going to the slightly cheaper range so we've covered the vo5 and again you can get that around about the same price as the dove this price of this product used to be when i was small and i remember my my nan buying this this used to be much more expensive and it was in like a silvery blue bottle um so whether or not the product range has just become cheaper more accessible to people brilliant but of course that way the ingredients which we spoke about in there you would find in higher end products which are is just as good very often over as you can see i have the molten brown i have the philip kingsley fantastic I don't always want to use them all the time sometimes I want to use something really quite a nice rich lava with those oils in to look after my hair in our family bathroom amazing moving on let's go even cheaper so very often if you are in a supermarket maybe you might be in a pharmacist or a chemist or um, let's see in Boots Superdrug here in the high street or anywhere else but you think to yourself I don't really want to spend too much my scalp's a little bit agitated I don't like head and shoulders for example which might well be used for an agitated scalp that's just an example by the way I do like that product range it's not something I've reviewed yet but we will be in the future um, but I want to try something else you come across a product like this it's only a pound and this is for hair and scalp anti-dandruff shampoo so it's an effective treatment for dandruff improves hair and scalp okay so it's a cheaper product range people might look at this and think that's awful no it might be awful for some people might be fantastic for others somebody might say this is better than the molten brown now, i can't think who but but 
it's just as good quality product. Why would somebody look at that and say it's absolutely awful? Because it might be, if you're having an awful time with problematic scalps, flaking, flaking scalp, itchy scalp, and you're really in an awful rut about it, that product could turn your life around. The molten brown or the Philip Kingsley or the Opposite might agitate it more. So then, of course, you're going to turn around and say that that's an amazing product to use. What I'm trying to get out here is it's always personal preference. A review should be based on personal preference. That's why I always say my reviews are based on personal opinion. Somebody else might find that absolutely awful. And of course, very often I will look at personal reviews online and then I will buy a product that way. It's really, really good to help you make your decision. But it shouldn't just be based on somebody else's opinion why you think a product is rubbish or if you think a product isn't very good for you. Try it out yourself. Let's keep going. One of my favorite products, in fact, actually, I think I made a mistake here. I said that the Molten Brown was the most expensive. But in terms of size and for what you get, my favorite product, which you hear me talk about a lot in my channel and my clips, is the Surioxal range, which is by L'Oreal Professional. Now, this is for clarifying and densifying shampoo for natural thinning hair, and it's hypoallergenic. Let's tell you a little bit about it here. So it's clarifying, densifying shampoo for natural thinning hair, hypoallergenic formula suitable for sensitive scalps perfect so cleanses the scalp of impurities whilst modifying the hair and this is a stage one there's a stage two which is the conditioner and then they have a denser hair treatment as well which you will see for my range this i have paid sometimes of course this is a liter so smaller bottle 250 i have paid before around 15 to 20 pounds for the small one this one here you can pay up to around about 35 if not more um but cost effective but it's a really nice product and I don't buy that very often either because it lasts such a long time coming to the end of this one now I've got a new one on the way um, but do you see what I mean when I'm trying to get there so from what I'm trying to do is that you should make your own personal opinion on products for example when you go into a store or if you go anywhere you'll always see cheaper products tend to be at the bottom and then the more expensive pre uh, products seem to be on the top of course that's advertising marketing what have you but very often, I have been, in fact, very recently, I have been next to somebody whilst actually in a, in a supermarket. They picked up the product on the bottom. It was the supermarket range hairspray. And I actually had somebody else by the side of me who I never ever knew. And they sort of made a, a bit of a face as this person picked up two cans, uh, two cans of the supermarket brand hairspray. I was so close to turning around to this other person saying, and... All you know that person could have hardly any money at all and still want to look their best why take that away from somebody and i think that's absolutely that's an awful thing to do it's absolutely ridiculous why you would be quite judgmental like that so actually what i then done is bought the same can and took it home yeah okay i didn't like it but that person might like it in fact i still haven't got it otherwise i would show you but just to see what i mean we should always make the assumption based on our own experience Okay, so thank you very much for watching my clip today. I have really, very enjoyed that. And in answer to my question, hair product, does cost really matter? No, it doesn't. In terms of review, no, it doesn't. And for choice, no, it doesn't. If you're looking for quality in products, no. If you're looking for a product which might offer more, more stronger, natural, derived ingredients or a more potent solution for hair uh, conditions, then cost might have something to do with it. Not always. Have a look. Don't base your judgment or assumptions on reviews, which might just be because a branding might be so typically cheap. Have a look into it. Okay, once again, thanks very much for watching my clip. I really, really enjoyed this one today. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.